Hey guys, so I'm getting ready for Christmas Eve and I thought I would use one of the new Pinky Rose palettes. So, just bear with me. Bear with me because I know this is gonna be a bit of a mess. Um, I did my friend's makeup this weekend and I have not unpacked my kit. So, some of the stuff, like I had my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in there. I don't always like to do other people's makeup, but she's a really good friend, so I really enjoyed working with her. But anywho's, I'm gonna use the Exotic Peacock palette. I think that's the one that's really speaking to me. Oops, just dug my nail in there from this collection. So I wanna go in with Risky, because that looks like a fun color. I'm just gonna grab a Morphe blending brush. These are a little bit powdery, E28. Dust that off and I'm just gonna place that in my crease just very messily. Okay, now I wanna go in to, actually, hmm. I like that. That actually applied really well. Next shade, I don't even want to change the color. Like, can I just be done with that? <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see. I don't want to make this too wild because, like I said, I am going to church with my in-laws and I want to scare people. So, hmm, conflicted you guys, what to do next? Pinky Rose palette, but I kind of want to use this shade on my lid, like for a pop. And I think I'm going to grab one of my, Blending brushes, this one's a little bit dirty, but I'm just gonna dip into the brown in this palette and just kind of smoke it out a little bit. So actually I'm only using like one color from the Pinky Rose palette and I apologize. I won't make this a clickbait title, um, but I don't wanna scare all the Lutherans at the church. <laughs> that uh, we have to go to for Christmas Mass, so I'm actually not Lutheran, but we have to go to uh, support. <laughs> so that brush needs to get cleaned. And then I want to use some glitter glue by Too Faced, so let me grab my glitter glue and then I have a dirty brush here that I've been using for glitter glue. Sorry, this is gonna be like the easiest eyeshadow tutorial as per usual. I feel like all my tutorials are very like non-complex, so you know, you're welcome. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, but you guys, let me know in the comments because I'd be so curious, like what other eyeshadow looks you think I should create? Like, do you guys think that I should learn to do like cut creases and things like that? just doesn't seem like me. So this shade reminds me so much of Dirty Money from the Desi X Kitty collab. This one I'm putting on right now is from the Pat McGrath palette. These are from the original um, 10 pan palettes that she came out with. I'll show you the palette in a second. I just already did too, but I love this color so, so much. And I love using Pat McGrath's shades with glitter glue. The special shades, they just are more vibrant this way. So I always do one eye first and then I do the next eye. But yeah, if there's any like eyeshadow looks that you guys are just like have a burning desire to watch me fail at, just let me know. Maybe that will be some fun content for 2019. I have so many palettes still in my collection that I need to review for you guys. So yeah, a lot of my goals this year are focused around just using the products I have. I'm not like 
going to announce like a low buy, no buy situation. I don't have that kind of self-control and I don't want to disappoint you guys by saying, hey, I'm going on a no buy and then buying stuff. Because I, I tried doing that for December and I like epically failed, of course. But I guess trying is key too. <laughs> so I'm hoping that once I spend time looking through my collection, I'll realize I have way more than I need. Which I kind of already do but anyway okay so this is the eyeshadow look I actually really love it I'm looking at it in the mirror and I don't know it's beautiful it's like a green gold color and so now I want to do my face and I'm trying to contemplate what I want to use I got a bunch of like wet and wild stuff um, but I want to save that for a wet and wild video so I think foundation we're gonna use the huda foundation and so i will be right back i need to go wet my sponge okay guys so i did use the huda foundation it's very full coverage but i like it especially for you know something like a special event like christmas and i'm going into the nars concealer i think this one came out last year but honestly it's like my favorite concealer of all time because it just oh, it's so flawless looking so I like that and then for powder my favorite one is this guy this is new uh, for me this is the airbrush flawless finish by Charlotte Tilbury and I just take that and put it under my eyes I feel like the brightness is insane. Hold on. Sorry, my softbox was like really close to my face and it was like really lighting me up. So just wanted to change that. Okay, this is the Marc Jacobs bronzer brush. I got this on Black Friday for Black Friday during a sale. They were doing 40% off. That's the only reason I bought it. And this is the BH Cosmetics bronzer. And I've been using this because it's $10. And I bought the darkest color, I think. And yeah, I like it. Sorry, my towel is falling off, which is fine. What do you guys think? Do I love bronze stuff? Let's just bronze it up some more. Mmm, delicious. Okay, and then for blush, I decided to go with this guy. This is the um, Songbird. No. Sunward brush, yeah, by Becca. Ooh, this color is pretty. I haven't used it in a while. This one does have like a little bit of a luminous finish to it. Ooh, I like that a lot. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then I need some eyeliner. I grab a little eyeliner brush, go into my Pemagraph palette. This is the one I use. This is the shade I use, the green shade. And I take some of the brown shadow and just smoke out the under eye. Then I'm going to go in with my highlighter and just use the same pencil brush and just go into the inner corners. I gotta do my eyebrows, and again, my eyebrow powder is in my bag, so I'm just gonna use my Viseart palette to fill in my brows. Just gonna go into this dark brown shade. That's what I did the last time, too. The struggle is real when you're slacking. I actually wanna try. There's a black in here. And I don't think I've ever actually used the black. I don't ever really use black eyeshadows. It's kind of funny. Do you guys do that? Do you guys use black eyeshadow? Because I know people always say like, oh, I'm so glad there's a black eyeshadow in this palette. And I'm like, why? What do you do with it? I can do a smoky eye without a black eyeshadow. Okay, so it's very, very harsh, but I don't really care. So here's the one eye. Here's the not done eye. I love filling in my brows. 
Thank you, Jesus. But also, th no thank you to all the people that have waxed my brows and ruined them throughout the years because I had, I think, a much better brow shape. And uh, I think like people have over waxed them since I moved to the US and kind of wrecked them for me, which I'm kind of bitter about, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna go back into the Viseart and Lighten up those harsh, harsh browns. Or black, I mean. <laughs> this brow is giving me drama. Okay, this is where we need to stop now. And then my favorite brow gel, ABH. Run that through these brows. I meant to get my brows done, but honestly, like, I don't want to pay for it. So we're not going to. So this is my little lip bag that I carry in my purse. And I really want to do this Pat McGrath combo I love. So let me just grab, make sure I grab flesh, 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 flesh three. Sorry guys, I'm feeling all over the place, that's okay. So this is her like lip balm formula. But she did tinted ones and I just like to go like this. This is so hydrating. Yeah, that's a good color, I think, for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And then this is Flesh Gloss by Pat McGrath. It just feels so hydrating and it's so glossy. I love it. And then I'm just going to leave my hair down. It's wet right now. Um, and then I want to do mascara. Ooh, I want to try this. Do you guys think I should take the leap and just spray this on my face? Oh wait, this is primer water. Never mind. I need setting spray. So before I do my mascara, I always spray my face and I really, my favorite of all time is Fix Plus. So let's go ahead and... That is the lavender one. Okay, love it. Need to put this back in my purse. And I did get a bunch of new mascaras, but I'm going to go in with the ones I'm currently using, um, which is Benefit and When Wild. I thought I was like in love with Roller Lash and I picked it up on sale and I'm not a huge fan, not going to lie. I love this for lower lashes. If you guys are looking for an affordable one, I get this at Target. This is the Mega Link Mascara by Wet n Wild. I'm gonna need some help cleaning up this mascara. I think I need to do the um, contact solution trick. This one feels very dry, so. Anywho's. Well, I'm almost ready. I just need some earrings. Okay, guys. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. And I will see you in my next video soon. Bye, guys. Bye.